gonna make some almond crusted chicken. And I use um, almonds, panko breadcrumbs. So let me explain to you what I do. First of all, the chicken I get, I got this at Winco, and I get breasts, skinless and boneless breasts. First thing I do is I pound them. And this is my pounder that I got from Pampered Chef, and it's great. And just so you know, it will get your aggressions out big time. So if you're having a bad day, go pound yourself some chicken. So first we're going to pound the chicken one side. Then I turn it over and I do the other side. And I do this on each one. You only have to do it one time because if you don't pound them, they may take longer to cook. And they get really thick. They're, if they're too thick and then it's harder uh, for them to cook evenly, actually. So you pound them all. You can use chicken tenders if you want. You could probably even do this with chicken thighs. Um, whole, you know, um, chicken halves, however you want to do it, but obviously you have to get the skin off. Okay. Now, we want to give it a quick brine, like a, it's called a fast brine, because basically when you brine meat, you have to let it sit in salt water for a long time, but we're not going to do that. We're going to quick brine it. So what you do is you take some salt. First thing I'm going to do is wash my hands because I was just touching the chicken. And then when you get some salt, put it in something else. Do not use your salt that you're using because you don't want the uh, contamination of the chicken to get into the salt because that would be gross. So you put it in, put it in another dish. And then because I pounded it, it has the holes in it, so I'm not going to have to poke it with the um, fork. And then I just take a little bit of salt and I just rub the salt on each one. And it doesn't have to be a ton of it, just get the salt on each one of them. So, but you need to wash your hands before you work with the chicken and you need to wash your hands after you work with the chicken. And you need to wash the um, cutting board really good. Otherwise, uh, you watch it with bleach. Okay. So, once I get all these done, then I can start the breadcrumbs. What I do is I take the panko bread breadcrumbs and I brown them. You don't have to, but I do it because it tastes really good. So once I'm done with this, um, I will show you how to do that, but um, I will be back in a minute. Okay, I got the breadcrumbs in the pan and I put um, some butter in the pan. I put a, a whole like stick of butter in there, and uh, but you can do however you want. Like I said, I don't measure stuff. So um, I put the butter in the pan with the panko breadcrumbs and I'm browning them right now. Okay, so I have browned the breadcrumbs. Um, they're still cooking actually a little bit in here and you can see they're um, slightly brown. You can do it without browning them, but it's really good when you do brown them. Okay, so now I have this and what I'll do is put this in a bowl and then I'm also going to take my almonds that I, I did some of these uh, when I made it last time but I'm going to show you how how I do them to get them like this and this may actually be enough but I take I go to Winco and I get the bulk almonds the salted ones and then put them 
in the Cuisinart. Chopped liver next. See you in a bit. <laughs> 